this for an infant? Like a newborn, probably, infant? <laughs> Look, I know something. What do you buy now? So today I am 23 weeks and two days, which is crazy that next week is basically when you reach viability um, and your chances for baby survival um, really increases, which I'm really excited about on Wednesday when we hit exactly 24 weeks, me and Rob are going to go get a cupcake to kind of celebrate. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about that to finally reach 24 weeks. But I have a lot of things to go over this week because a lot of things have been happening. Um, obviously, there was no Monday video because of the camera. Um, this camera is pretty much horrible in audio with vlogging because it's not really meant to be used as a vlogging camera. And the lighting isn't that great. So I am going to be getting a new camera. And we are actually going to be getting it soon so I'm really excited about that so hopefully I'll have it within the next two weeks or something like that um, kind of like a Mother's Day present <laughs> but but yeah I'm really excited so as of right now I am 120 pounds which is weird because I weigh myself in the morning and in the morning I'm like 115 116 um, pounds on my scale and then at where I babysit I used their scale in the morning and I was 116 pounds, but in the afternoon, um, after I ate dinner and everything, I'm like 119, 120. But that seems like a really big difference from morning to night. Usually, I would think it would be like a pound or two, but like, or maybe even like up just a pound, but it's like pretty big difference, like five pound difference, which is, I don't know, it's hard for me to believe that I am five pounds more at night than I am in the morning. It doesn't really make sense. But anyways, um, symptoms that I have been having are a lot. Um, I've been having some vaginal discharge. Um, it's kind of like white, I, it's like whitish, I guess. And it'll just like come out of nowhere. Um, I've been having a, don't mind my nails, I always say that in like every video. And actually I was thinking of this, I was like, when I look at my videos, I'm like, did I really just post this video for everyone to see when I look like crap like this? But I feel like if I like dressed up all the time and like did my makeup and hair for each of these videos, I, it wouldn't be like my true self because I don't come home and get ready and look like that all day long. You know, I'm tired and I am want to just be in comfy pants and not do my hair and just put my hair up and so I feel like I'd rather be real with you guys and not pretend that I always look look like I have like my makeup's done and my hair's done. Obviously it's done in some videos but that's just when I have time to do it or I didn't come home right from work or something like that. But yeah so don't mind my hair or my face. <laughs> um anyways another thing I've been having is TMI, but swollen vagina. Okay, yes, my vagina has been swollen. Like, and I didn't notice this until I was, like, in the shower um, the one day. And it, you know, when obviously I'm, like, washing myself. And it just did not feel right. And then I showed Rob, and he's like, yeah, it definitely looks swollen. And I felt, like, this little bump. And I was, like, freaking out. And I, like, got myself really close to the mirror. And I noticed it was a vein that you could like see and I never had that there like visible before or where I could like feel it and I looked online and it said it was a hundred percent normal that with like the uterus like the pressure of your uterus and the baby that your vagina I guess the all the blood flow that is like down there it makes it like swollen and I guess your vein like your the blood rush the, like being in your vagina I don't know if that makes any sense um but yeah TMI, I know. Um, another thing is a ligament pain. I haven't had this for a long time, um, but all of a sudden I started getting it again, but only for about like two days and then it was gone. Another thing is tailbone pain. My tailbone has been killing me. 
and I only think this is because I hurt my tailbone when I was about eight or nine um, snowboarding. A skier actually ran into my tailbone, and I think they either like chipped part of my tailbone, tailbone, or really badly bruised it, and it has hurt ever since. But recently, being pregnant, it has hurt a lot more. Um, when I'm sitting in the car too long, it'll start to really hurt, or just when I'm sitting at work or something, it starts to really bother me. Um, so that's something that's really annoying. Another thing that has been reoccurring a lot is my sciatic nerve. Um, on my right, obviously, it's like on my right side. Um, it really hurts. All of a sudden, I'll start getting it, and then for a few days, I won't get it, and then I'll start to get it again. But yeah, that's been really hurting lately. Next symptom I've been having is Braxton Hicks contractions, and it's where your my like stomach gets really tight all of a sudden and like painful for like a couple seconds and then it goes away and it's not um, hard anymore but it gets like really hard and then goes away which is weird but um I've been having them lately probably like a couple times a day recently um I oh I actually was throwing up this morning um I've been taking for four days now or five days I was on half a pill of Zofran um, and when I tried this before, I was taking half a pill and then it would work for like a day or two and then I'd start throwing up. But this time I've lasted like five days and last night I actually didn't take half of the Zofran and this morning I was throwing up. So then I took half of the Zofran and I was fine. But obviously <laughs> I still need it, but I'm happy that I'm being able to just take half of a pill, at least so far. Um, I saw this idea for best moment of the week. Um, on his boots, her chucks. Um, if you don't follow her, she's another YouTuber um, who is actually around the same exact week as me. I think she's 23 weeks, or maybe 23 or 24, around there. Um, but she writes her, I mean, writes her, she tells what her best moment of the week is. And my best moment for the week was going to visit my grandma, and I was rubbing my belly, and she was feeling it, and I was just like talking about the baby, and just watching her smile um, while I was talking about the baby was something I will never forget and she just looks so happy and like generally generally so like um, proud and happy for me which was really amazing to see um, and again something I will never forget um, oh and one more symptom don't let me forget, um, sometimes when I sneeze, I pee myself. Yeah, because that's normal. Yeah, I pee myself. Uh, this has never happened before getting pregnant. Um, I do Kegels like every day, and Rob's mom said that she doesn't think that it, that's going to help that problem um, because it, it depends like where the baby's sitting. Like sometimes I'll sneeze and nothing happens, I'm fine. And then like when the baby's like really low, like where they're like kicking on my bladder, and I sneeze, I literally like pee myself a little. Like I've been having to wear panty liners and it's like, oh my gosh, make sure I have a panty liner on because I might just pee myself down there and it's embarrassing. Like the one time it went in on my underwear and on my pants and I had to change everything that I just put on. So that's fun. <laughs> um, one thing that's exciting tomorrow that we're doing is we're registering, I cannot wait. Um, registering at Babies R Us, I'm not really registering anywhere else just because I mean, there's a few things that I plan on getting from, like, Target or Pottery Barn or something like that, but not enough where I'm going to make a full registry. Um, but I'm really excited. I put on, like, most of my big items that I've, like, reviewed and watched YouTube videos on. I put most of those things on there a while ago, but everything else, I mean, I think there's, like, 10 items on there now. So, obviously, just, like, the main big items are on there. So, obviously, I have a lot of things to register for. Um... I'm trying to think. Oh, another thing that, sorry, this video is probably going to be long just because I have so many things to talk about. Um, was it last week? I went out and bought the crib sheet. And I know I I put this on my registry, but I wanted to get the um, crib sheet just so I can match the um, paint that we were painting the nursery. So this is the crib sheet that we got. I'm going to obviously be getting other ones, but this is the one that I mainly liked. And I definitely think it's, you know, neutral, boy or girl. I'm not really in. If I knew what I was having, I definitely wouldn't be painting the bedroom pink or purple or anything like that by any means. Um, but I think this is really cute. And you can add um, cute little accents. 
to it to make it like more girly or anything like that. And this is the color that we painted the bedroom, which I'm not going to show you guys that yet until we completely finish the painting. Um, Rob is finishing it this weekend. He has to just finish painting the ceiling and then um, like a little bit of the wall. And then hopefully next week or yeah, hopefully next week or the week after we're going to be purchasing the flooring. But this is the color we got and it's by Valspar. It's Dancing Water. Sorry about the crease. We were going to get the Tame Teal one, but I actually thought this one was a little bit more minty and it actually looked a little bit more girl, like it could look a little bit more girly with like pinks and corals and stuff like that. So I really like that. And I really like a pop, like pop of red with this color. Um, another thing that I got last week was... Let's see. I actually put one in my, um, well, yeah, I put it in myself, in my Easter basket, and one I put in Rob's Easter basket, and this is You Are My I Love You, and this is Rob's book to read to the baby, and it's super cute, and that's basically supposed to be Rob and the baby, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this book is really cute. Um, the book that is my favorite to read to the baby, and Rob's favorite to actually read, is Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go, a book to be read in utero by Dr. Seuss. And it's not Oh, The Places You'll Go, it's Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go. And it's so cute. Um, and I actually met this Tish Rabe, that's who adapted by Tish Rabe. Um, she came to our school, she was a guest speaker. And it is seriously so cute. And it basically tells, you know, your child, you know, you're supposed to be speaking to the baby in the womb. And telling the baby, like, all the adventures are going to be taken with Dr. Seuss. If you like Dr. Seuss, you would really think this book was super cute. But I really like it. It was, like, $6.99. And we read it probably, like, twice a night. And as soon as I read this book, the baby starts kicking. I don't know what it is, if it's a coincidence. But literally every single time I read this book, it starts kicking like crazy. Like, we'll read this book and we'll get no kicks. Then we'll go to this book, and it starts kicking. Like, it's really weird, but um, I really like that book. Another thing that I got are a few different clothing that I got from, like, um, a secondhand shop. And my sister-in-law got me this outfit, which I don't think I showed this yet. I'm not sure. I may have. So I apologize if I've already shown this outfit. Um, my brother lives in Colorado and my other brother and his wife and kids went to go visit him and they picked up this outfit and it's definitely more boyish but I figure if I put like a really cute black bow on the ba baby if it was a girl that this would definitely be cute. I'm not like oh my god my kid has to wear pink or anything like that if it's a girl and it says trailing behind. So yeah I think this is super cute um, for a boy or a girl. Um, and then one of the outfits that I got from, it's like a secondhand shop. They These things barely look worn. What, they don't look worn, actually. Like they don't even, like the, yeah, they do not look like they were worn. This one was $2. And it's just like a little doctor outfit. I think it's so cute to wear in the hospital one day. And the next one, this was $4.75 for this little one. And the bottoms which the bottoms have little duckies on the feet. So I think this was super cute. I obviously can't really hold it well enough. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. So there's, those are the two other outfits. I'm not registering for any clothes. I'm not buying any more clothes because I know my mom and I know Rob's mom is going to be buying a ton of general, general, general? gender specific clothes when I give birth and we'll bring them to the hospital. Um, so I'm not buying any more. I don't need a bunch of ducky or giraffe outfits. Um, one thing that I also got that I thought was funny because I mentioned not getting, like not getting this yet because I didn't feel like I needed it, um, was the Snoogle. Rob's mom actually surprised me and FedEx dropped it off, um, this past weekend and I got the Snoogle. And if you don't know what that is, I will show you. It's this big, giant thing. Can you see? Yeah, you basically lay it like this, and you can wrap your body like 
like facing this way or facing putting your back towards this and like crawling up and putting your legs like one over top and one on the bottom but yeah I didn't think I really needed it right now but once you use it it's so comfortable like I let Rob sleep with it the one night and he loved it um, so yeah it's definitely comfortable and it fits in our bed just fine we have a full and we have we have plenty of room um, one of the things that we also got is I will show you guys our dresser um it came it's from Boscov's. um i want to say this one was about um 400 i think it might have even been on sale for like 375 and this was actually a gift from my mother for my mom um so yeah i'm excited about that that we finally that we got like a piece of furniture which is exciting and obviously it's out here because we don't have anywhere else to put it. We weren't going to bring it until we were really ready for it, but my mom had a truck that she could borrow, so we took advantage and brought it over with the truck. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to talk about. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. Um, maternity leave. I'm just trying to figure out, do the paperwork for my maternity leave that I can, so I can submit that and put it in because you have to do it three months before you give birth. Um, so if I get that all taken care of, but yes, and again, people keep asking me what I'm having. I'm not finding out and I cannot be persuaded. I don't care about the materialistic things of clothes and stuff and needing to know. I just, I don't feel the need to know. I am happy if I have a boy or a girl and I don't know, when I think of my baby, I just think of my baby who I love so much and I guess gender just doesn't matter to me because I don't have one I don't have either sex so it doesn't matter and Rob said last night he's like I I don't care what we have so he doesn't really he doesn't care about finding out anymore which is nice because he doesn't bug me anymore <laughs> um but anyways I'm gonna stand up real quick and show you guys my belly okay so this is I always back up so far this is me standing up and just ate dinner, but it basically looks the same. So this is from the front with my shirt down, from the side, from the other side, and this is with my shirt up. This is from the front, from the side, and from the other side. And I'll get down. And my belly button looks like it's starting to pop out a little bit more. In front and I have no stretch marks yet anyways um and I lotion my body like three times a day like I lotion myself when I wake up when I get home from work and when I go to bed um it's a lot of lotioning but I don't care um I like the smell of it anyways of the lotion that I use so I'm fine with doing it that many times um, but alright guys, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's long. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it down, um, to a little bit shorter, but I am going to be getting a new camera, so I'm sorry that I haven't been putting up any vlogs when I do get a new camera. I do definitely, definitely plan on doing a lot of vlogs and stuff like that, and the quality and picture will be a lot better, and the sound. Alright guys, but sorry it took so long. I have to work tonight, so I have to go... Get ready for that, but thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright guys, bye!